Welcome back to our system design series. In today's episode, we are diving into distributed unique ID generators, a critical component for generating a unique identifiers across distributed systems. By the end of this video, you will understand what distributed, uh, what distributed unique ID generators are, why they are needed, and how uh, they help uh, ensure consistency and reliability in large scale systems. So, Imagine you are run, uh, running a large distributed application, like a global e-commerce platform. You need to generate unique identifiers for orders, users, products, and transactions across multiple servers. But each of these servers needs to generate IDs without conflict, without any conflicts, basically. This when a distributed um, unique ID generators come into play. They ensure that each entity in your system gets a unique identifier so so no matter no matter where and what and when it's generated so let's take a quick example let's say that we have multiple servers we have a user service user services and we have uh, again also order order services that it's distributed across different services, uh, different servers, and we have product. And for each service, each service has its own uh, database, and we need to de to cre create uh, to and generate IDs so no user have the same ID in other database because we have a distributed systems. So we will connect with like uh, ID generator, ID generator. Um, so, uh, let's say let's let's give it a name, a unique ID generator. Okay, so they will connect with the unique ID generator, and they will get they all obtain their IDs from it. So a distributed unique ID generator is a system that generates unique identifiers across distributed environments. The challenge is uh, in, in, in a distributed system is that multiple servers may need to generate ideas simultaneously and it's crucial to avoid um, collisions, um, uh, co collision, collisions, collisions, or like uh, meaning no two entities should end up with the same identifier. So let's just try to think why this is needed. So. If you think about it, these IDs are used to identify records to like like user accounts, orders, transactions, products, and more. The main goal is to generate a unique ID, a unique, consistent, and fast, even if the application is operating across different data centers or regions. And if you try to think about it, uh, let's try to get an example. If if in in a traditional um, in a traditional system, generating a unique ID has been often handled by that uh, centralized database. So uh, let's say that we have our own DB and we add uh, records to this one, uh, to this DB, and basically we will generate um, the, the, the ideas. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty obvious. It will be uh, generated by increment. So we have one, two, three, four, etc. However, in distributed environment, relying on a single point, to generate ideas can be a quite a bottleneck and a single point of failure. So because of that, we use um, a unique ID generator. And a distributed unique uh, ID generator helps solve uh, this problem by allowing multiple servers and to independently generate ideas without the need for centralized source. This ensures that your system can scale horizontally and remain resilient even if individual servers experience an issue. So there are multiple um, ways and multiple, um, there are common, like several common approaches to generate uh, distributed unique IDs. Uh, there is the first one, which will be the UUID, UUID. Uh, UUID is a universal unique identifier. UUID are about, I guess, 128 uh, byte. Uh, the UID one is 128 byte. It's identifiers that are designed to be unique across a space and time. They are often used when you need a high level of uniqueness without coordination. However, 
they can be quite large which might be uh, inefficient in terms of storage um, the second thing will be uh, the Twitter snowflake Um, the Twitter Snowflake is an idea generation generation system developed by Twitter. It generates, I guess, the um, the the idea is about like sixty four bits, so it's a pretty uh, smaller than the other one. Um, um, the sixty it generates the sixty four bits ideas that are timed, ordered, and unique. Each ID is uh, composed on a timestamp, data center ID, worker ID, and sequence number, which makes it easy to generate IDs that are unique and can be stored um, um, like uh, ch uh, chronologically. Um, the next thing is to talk about is the database sequence sharding. Um, this one, I guess, is not that famous in my opinion. Uh, most of your insistence and interviews you will be asked about the tw uh, the Twitter uh, snowflake but let's let's talk about the database uh, sequence uh, sharding um, in this approach each server or node is assigned on um, a range of numbers it can use for generate generating IDs uh, this is a really important uh, aspect, but I guess in your system design interview, you will not be asked about database sequence sorting, or from my experience, at least I've, I've, uh, I wasn't asked uh, about database uh, sequence sorting when it comes to talking about distributed uh, ID generation. So in the system sorting, in this approach, each server or node is assigned on a range of numbers it can, uh, it can use for generating IDs. This allows multiple servers to generate unique IDs independently by ensuring each one works within um, assigned range. So one shard has ID from like one to uh, 10 to 100, for example, and the other have like uh, from 100 to 200 and etc. This is how it works basically. Um, so these methods are allow distributed systems to generate unique identifiers in a way that is uh, scalable, efficient, and um, um, collision free. Each method has its own trade-offs in terms of complexity, storage, and ease of con uh, and ease of use and con uh, depending on the specific use cases. So let's talk about uh, why um, the key benefits of using a distributed ID generation generators. So it comes, I guess, in my opinion, for four things. The first one is scalability. Um, um, let's let's try to scalability. I, I want to see if I can still write. But I guess my writing skill is quite. It's it's improving in on on Miro. So. The first thing is scalability. Distributed unique ID generators allow your system to scale horizontally with multiple servers, independently, um, uh, independently generating IDs, avoiding bottlenecks. And the second thing also, it will be um, fault tolerance. 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 Okay. So since IDs are um, can be the can be generated without relying on a centralized or central server, the system remains operational even if one or more servers goes down. Uh, the third one will be the order uh, the the order uh, perseveration. Uh, like some ID generation uh, methods, uh, generation methods like um, Twitter's Snowflake um, generate IDs that are time ordered, which can be quite useful for maintaining the um, um, for like maintaining the, the the behavior and the the look and the, the information of the order and the order of the events. Uh, the so last thing will be global uniqueness. Uh, distributed unique ID generates. Um, ensure uh, generators ensure that each uh, ent entity in your system has a globally unique identifier, which is crucial for data consistency and avoiding conflicts. So, um, I would say that to sum it up, a distributed unique uh, uh, unique ID generators are 
essential for creating a globally unique identifiers in distributed systems. They help ensure that your system is scalable, fault tolerant, and capable of maintaining data consistency, uh, whether you use UUID uh, or Twitter Snowflake or database sharding, these tools are crucial for managing unique entities in large scale applications. If you found this video helpful, may, don't forget to like it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in the future.